Hey guys, welcome back to Fast Fix. In this video, we're going to show you how you can withdraw money from Coin Market Cap. So I will show you the simple guide on how you can withdraw money from this app. So first up, we're going to open the Coin Market Cap website. So if you're using Google Chrome, you just need to input here coinmarketcap.com and then you will find this home page right here but i will just put the website link at the description below so you can follow also this tutorial while watching so you need to first sign up for an account right here so once your account is verified then this is what your screen looks like as you can see here now to get started once you log in click on the profile so basically you will find that at the top right hand corner of your screen so click on your profile and here you will find here your profile name. So as you can see, we have here watch list, portfolio, my community page, settings, and layout. So here basically we need to create a new portfolio. So we're going to click on this portfolio option. So once you click on portfolio, then you will now go to the portfolio page. So basically, you can add transactions instantly under my main portfolio. So you can just click on add transaction anywhere here at the bottom or right here at the right side. But in my case, I want to create a new portfolio. So I'm going to click on create portfolio right here at the left side of your screen. Once you click on create portfolio, you'll find these four options here. Connect your wallet add transactions manually, connect Binance account, and connect OKX account. So in this sample, I just want to select this, add transactions manually. So as you can see, enter all transaction details at your own pace to track your portfolio. So we're going to click on this one. Now here, as you can see, we have to manually enter your portfolio name. So I'm going to write down here a sample portfolio name so for example it is a simple man right there and then we're going to click on create portfolio so as you can see right there once you add on that we have now two portfolios my main portfolio and the simple man portfolio now we're going to select the new portfolio here so you just need to click on add transactions so right here add transaction button now you'll find this an option shows up on your screen select coin so basically you have to select here either you want to uh, transfer bitcoin ethereum tether bnb solana xrp usdc cardano and many more but in this case in this example i just want to select this ethereum right here the second one so you will find this next box here so you can see add transaction so we're going to click on this buy buy button and from here as you can see you can still change the other coins if you click on the drop down menu here you can change to bitcoin tether bnb but here i just want to stick to ethereum so go to ethereum and then the price per coin is given here so it's 2545.76 so this is the price per coin and here at the bottom you will find here the date the fee and you can also add a note now let's say the quantity here is for example 10 so if you're going to put 10 so you can see at the bottom you'll find the total spent is 25,475.60 dollars so right there and then once done here you just have to click on the add transaction button and once you click on this button here, as you can see, transaction was added. So we'll now add it into your dashboard. So after that, we're going to look at the top right here. So as you can see here, if you're going to look at the tabs at the top, basically we have cryptocurrencies, we have the exchanges, community, products, and learn. For example, you want to see cryptocurrencies. So here under the cryptocurrencies, we have the ranking, recently added category spotlight, and also here we have the NFT, overall NFT stats, 
tap collections and the upcoming NFT sales. And also we have here on chain data. We would just need to see the ranking. So we're going to click on this one at the top of this. So we're going to click on ranking. And basically here, if you scroll down a bit, then you will see the ranking at the top. We can see here Bitcoin and then with a price of 42,702 and then followed by Ethereum. So as you can see at the right side, we can find the market cap, the volume and also the circulating supply in the last seven days. So if you want to look for details, for example, you just have to select any cryptocurrency here and you can find all the details that you want to see. Now going to Ethereum, we have the details here. We have some information about this one and you'll find this that it is increased by 0.82%. And also if you scroll down here, you'll find other options here at the right side. For example, we have some comments. Then you can also take a look at the um, Ethereum analytics. So for example, right here, you can see the analytics. So right there, you can have some information here with this uh, cryptocurrency stub. Now, if you're going to withdraw your money from CoinMarketCap, I recommend you to use another app like the PancakeSwap. So here, you just need to go to PancakeSwap.finance. So I will just paste the link here at the description so you can check on this link. So if you take a look at the upper right corner of this pancake swap, basically you'll find connect wallet. So we have the button here. And also we have here BNB chain. You can select a network, Ethereum, Polygon, or something like that. So for example, if you're going to withdraw money from the coin market cap, basically go back to the coin market cap and here you will see the account that we have just created so on the left side right there the left side you just need to scroll down a bit and then you will find what we call contracts so right there contracts and then you'll find this link icon right here it says copy to clipboard so we're going to uh, click on this one now once you've copied this link we want to go back to the pancake swap. So again, go back to this page. And then we just need to go to trade. So you're going to click on the trade right here. So beside the pancake swap logo, we have the K trade and then we're going to click on this swap. So once you click on this swap, then you will find this page right here. So at the right side, you'll find here all the, uh, you can actually trade coins or tokens. So for example, here we want to trade for BNB, as you can see here. So, and then if you're going to select Ethereum, just click on this one and we're going to paste the link right here. So there you go. Now once you paste the link, it is active right away. So we're going to click on this one and there you go. We have the Ethereum here and then we're going to click on this connect wallet. So once you click on the connect wallet here, you will start connecting with one of the wallets below. So as you can see, be sure to store your private keys or seed phrase securely. So never share them with anyone. So here you can connect with MetaMask, Binance, Binance Wallet, Coinbase Wallet, Trust Wallet, Wallet Connect, and also we have your Opera Wallet, Brave Wallet. And if we're going to click on these three dots, which is more, we have here Rob, Robbie Wallet, Math Wallet, Token Pocket, Safe Pal. We have Coin98, Blockto, Cyber Wallet, and Ledger. So, for example, we want to choose right here Coin Wallet. So, if we're going to click on Coin Wallet, then here, as you can see, scan to connect with one of your mobile apps. So, basically, you just have to scan the QR code from your Coinbase mobile app to simply connect to your uh, Pancake Swap. So, basically, here, Connect with your self-custody wallet or you can connect with your Coinbase account. So you have two ways here to connect with your wallet app or your Coinbase application. So here at the bottom, you will see or try the Coinbase wallet uh, browser extension. So you can actually install that one. So connect the connect with uh, dApps with just one click on your desktop browser. 
add an additional layer of security by using a supported ledger hardware wallet. So you can also use the browser extension to basically connect with your Coinbase. If you're going to select MetaMask, so the same process, you just have to scan the QR code right from here. So once you scan the QR code, you have been connected with the pancake swap, then you can now withdraw your money from coin market cap. So yeah, that's it. That's how you basically withdraw money from coin market cap using this pancake swap. So if you find this video helpful, please consider to like and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell to notify you on the next video.